Optical density refers to the amount of light attenuated by the lens and ultimately let through to hit the eye. Different lasers and corresponding wavelengths have different impact on the human eye, and standards bodies have done research on how much of particular wavelengths are permissible. Ultimately, the OD needed is what absorbance required by the lens, or other PPE, to take the laser and have it reduced down to the maximum permissible exposure, or MPE. The MPE can be thought of as a laser safety speed limit and is a function of the wavelength of the laser, the time duration of exposure, and the energy involved. MPE utilizes the concept of energy density, or how much energy over a unit of area is permissible at a particular wavelength without biological harm given a specific time duration. To determine what protection level is needed, premised on your laser's output, do this by looking for the recommended optical density, or OD, asking your laser safety officer, or feel free to give us a call at 1-888 752-7370 and we can assist. Next, let's take a brief look at our industry notation and how to read the optical densities stated with our products. Let's take a lens that is attenuating a laser that operates at a wavelength between 650 and 680 nanometers. To calculate the optical density at any particular wavelength within the range, you would take the log 10 of that particular wavelength's incident optical intensity divided by its transmitted optical intensity. Although each wavelength has its own optical density, for simplicity, our industry states it as a range within the minimum optical density over that range. For instance, in the image we're depicting, the lens has an OD of 6 plus over the range of wavelengths from 650 to 680 nanometers. The larger the OD value, the larger the attenuation rate of incident light, thus providing higher protection. If the OD value increases, then the transmittance decreases at that particular wavelength. In an extreme example, if you were to block all visible light wavelengths, blocking any theoretical visible light laser, no visible light would pass through and therefore it's no longer possible to have any transparency that our window or glasses product provide. Instead, a non-transparent barrier or curtain would be a better option. 